Are we still doing the saint? Oh, do you want to? Yeah. I didn't think of mine, but I can think of mine on the fly. Okay, so I can, we're gonna I can the try. draft. The draft. Yeah. Okay, should we do three or five? Um. I think we could come up with five. Okay, let's try five. Okay, I just might not have a reason for some of mine. Mine might be the reason might be because I know the name. Okay, yeah. so we'll we'll start with you have to have and you don't have to you can pick them in any order, but you have to have a pope. And you have to have oh wait wait. Yeah 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 you have to have a pope. Okay, no, we won't do that. We won't make it confusing. <laughs> okay. We'll make it confusing later on. Yeah. On when the we, next segment, when we'll we make hit, it super confusing. A yeah. pope, a bishop, an mm -hmm. archbishop. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll uh and when we hit one hundred subscriber subscribers, we'll do one that is You have to have twenty saints. We're not even gonna tell you what the rules were and you're gonna have to guess what the rules were. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. For anyone that's still watching at this point. Okay, so we're going to, and we'll clip this as well. So this will be a short. So, okay, top five. Oh, gosh. So we did these the other day, and I, we just pulled them out and was like, who is this saint? And I was feeling so good at the very beginning, like the first three or four. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, I, like every other one. I was like, that one is St. Augustine. <laughs> nope. It's not. No. Okay, that one is St. Augustine. Nope. Then we got to the very last one. I was like, I just have no idea. And we flipped in and it literally said St. Augustine. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do this. We'll do this and then we'll wrap it up. We're at 30 minutes. That's awesome. One day we're going to do five-hour episodes like Pints with a Quinn. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're 1,000% 1, 1, are never going to do hey, that. Hey, that would just be us like on a date. Yeah. Everyone would be like, why'd you bring this camera into the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go first as the guest. We're going to go back and forth, and then you guys tell us which team of saints you think could save the entire world if they all lived at the same time. Or oh which group goodness. of saints would make the biggest impact right now, like right now in, in today's age. Mm. You, you cheater with those cards. Just <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's speaking, we sp spoke of marriage and dating, so there's my St. Louis and Zelly Martin. Yes. Nice, Zelly. Thanks, Zelly. Okay. 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 Who's, who's your first? I can saint? go first. Yep. Saint Patrick. Yep. Don't don't quiz me on this. I'm gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> saint, saint, yeah, saint, saint Patrick. Saint Patrick right, is my first because of. You um, took Saint Augustine. Okay. <laughs> what? No, I'm just kidding. Um, saint what? Patrick, because he um, casted out demons. Yeah. Um, with his with his thing that he says he had, a lot of, he had a lot of bravery too because he actually left and then went back yeah he was captured he escaped went back had these dreams that made him go back yeah because he wanted and basically i mean you if you are irish mm -hmm. you could possibly like you should have um saint patrick as one of your family patron saints because mm -hmm. he could be the reason why your family is catholic or has ever had any catholicism yeah, in that's true. in your lineage or anything like that yeah okay my turn yep all right saint francis xavier patron saint of missionaries baptized over three hundred thousand people fact checked me on that no, no don't fact check me on that it might be maybe less. it's a bunch of people so that would be my my first Okay. Um, my next would be St. Clair of Assisi. Okay. Because she, um, she saved her, is it called a mon monastery for women too? I don't know. Convent? I don't know either. Convent? convent? Yeah. She saved her convent by just picking up the monsters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they well, all it, left. It's like, yeah. So the power of the Eucharistic of miracle. Okay. Yes. And then we got to start because I think Benedict's. Um... Okay. Let's keep it going. <laughs> so we're, uh, my second one would be a workhorse. My person who's not afraid to talk to anybody in the patron saint of this podcast, St. Philip Neri. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got to be this fast. So I'm, we're just going to keep on going. Okay. Yeah. Um, my next, I can actually bring Benedict here. Um, St. Catherine of Siena. Okay. St. Catherine of Siena. Oh, I'm about to make you angry. So then I need a faith warrior then. I'm going to take a doctor of the church. 
St. Therese of Lisieux. I'm not mad at you. Good. I already have my other two. Oh, okay. Do you need to go get Benedict first? No. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. one. She shows that faith can be simple Mm -hmm. if you just do it with great love. Yeah. Super simple. Super, super simple. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Then I... I'm going to go with John Paul II. That's very good. I think good actually. One. My Polish man. No, that's not his. I thought that was maybe his crucifix right there, but it's not. I have it somewhere in here, though. But... I have his crucifix above the stove. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's my fourth. So, what, you got one more? One more. Mm-hmm. My next one is St. Ignatius. I can't see it. Move it over to your left. Saint oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Of Loyola. Yeah. Okay. Specifically because he can probably change a whole bunch of hearts with his meditations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With If you are intentional with his meditations, boom, like mm-hmm. your heart can be changed. Yeah. And that's your fifth one? Yep. My fifth one is someone I really, really like and probably who I know the most about. Just personally, not like m- more than anybody. And he's not a saint yet, but, but I'm going to go with Father Al? Father Al, Father Aloysius <laughs> Schwartz thing is how you say it. And that's what I'm going with who, if you are Korean, specifically South Korea, South Korea, if you're Korean or Mexico, Philippines, India, he was in, in instrumental in the boys towns and girls towns, but specifically Korea, he literally rebuilt the church in South Korea. So if you're Korean, then you should have a tattoo of him on your face. I'm just kidding. Um, but I don't know why I said face, but I meant to just say on your body. But okay, well, you guys let us know which um, you guys think saints would change the world. Uh, and if Lindsay would win or if Josh would win. You let us know why Josh would win, and I'm just kidding. Uh, also, can show my whoa. I was going to say Quovadis, but what do you nope. say? Quovadis. Quo. Is the D's it, silent? I guess so. I think that's okay. how you say it. But you can't. Can you see the little thing? Not really. It's really small. Okay. Well, it's uh, emotional virtue. I think okay. it's emotionalvirtue.com. Mm-hmm. And it actually has to do with dating. And that's free. Mm. We're not even sponsored by them because yes. we're not sponsored by anybody. Awesome. Yeah. Well, okay. baby, thank you for joining. Perfect. Thank you for joining. I love you. I will see you at home. And everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>